Queen Elizabeth II has been portrayed across movies and TV shows of all kinds throughout her historic reign as Britain's monarch. But the hit Netflix drama, The Crown, paints a picture of the span of Elizabeth's life and rule. I think The Crown, whether or not you like the Queen or you love the royal family or you don't you know, believe it should be abolished, I think The Crown's done a really good job of capturing what she's actually been doing for all of these years and what she's been confronted with privately and publicly um, and how much she has witnessed in her lifetime. By the end of its run, four women will have played Queen Elizabeth on the show. While Claire Foy was the first to wear the crown, the show also features flashbacks of the Queen as a young girl. In season one, Verity Russell played Elizabeth when she was still a princess. Your Royal Highness, come on. We're so used to seeing the Queen as as an older woman, it really does a good job of showing that this all began with her being born into this family and suddenly you are a royal. Foy assumed the role of Elizabeth as she officially ascended to the throne at age 25. Claire Foy did a really wonderful job of portraying that moment in the Queen's life where she suddenly realized, I am inheriting not just the throne, but all this responsibility, like all eyes in Britain are on me, but also around the world. Mummy, you decide then, it's head of the family. But she's not head of the family. I am. In interest in her and her husband and her private life, I think Foy did a really great job of showing that vulnerable side of the queen and highlighting the fact that when you strip it all back, she's still human, like it humanized her that she had this big daunting task to take on. She's arriving, the dreaded gold state coach, made in the 1760s and the most uncomfortable ride known to man. <laughs> Viewers are given a front row seat to her coronation, which was the first ever televised event of its kind. That really showed just like the fascination with the royal family and it got, you got a look at like what a massive moment this was for the country and also for her as a young woman sort of inheriting the throne after the death of her father. Need a head anointed with holy oil. Foy depicted some of Elizabeth's toughest battles, ruling as a young woman, and showed how particularly hard it could be at times to navigate a world where she was surrounded by men. Are you my wife or my queen? I'm both. I want to be married to my wife. Politics was very mal dominated and she was now meeting with prime ministers and trying to make changes and be taken seriously. It seems, at, especially early in her reign, that there were a lot of doubts about whether she would be able to fulfill the role. She said that I must not blame myself. I'm already mother to the nation. Olivia Colman began playing the Queen from the age of 38, which showcased her as a lot less vulnerable, uh, more of a hardened exterior. You will not separate or divorce or let the side down in any way. And if one day you expect to be king... I do. ...then might I suggest you start to behave like one. She's very matter-of-fact, very blunt in the way that she had some of those conversations with family members. And I think Colman did a great job of showcasing that, that side to the Queen that probably people are a bit more familiar with. Though we do see a glimpse or two of tearful moments. Of all the people everywhere, you are the closest and most important to me. The Crown's Queen Elizabeth acknowledges that her lack of showing emotion is nothing new. I have known for some time there is something wrong with me. Not wrong. Deficient then. Queen Elizabeth will be played by Imelda Staunton in seasons five and six the first of which is set to be released in November 2022, and will pick up in the 90s. I'm delighted to be here, inheriting the role of Queen Elizabeth from two outstanding actresses. The Crown has shown, whether you believe in the existence of a monarchy or not, that the Queen has been that pillar of stability. I think opened a lot of Americans' eyes as to what the monarchy serves to do and, and, and just how much responsibility it is for somebody to come to the throne.